Biology, for science majors, lab safety rules. Welcome to the Biology Laboratory. We want every single one of you to be safe throughout your time here, and this video will explain the rules we've put in place to make sure that happens. First, it's easy to get busy and forget but you and your lab partners will all be safer if you know what kind of exercises you'll be doing in lab each day. Read over the materials before coming to class. Check for safety warnings. Speaking of warnings, make sure to listen to your lab instructor as they explain the procedure. They'll point out which things you need to pay extra attention to, like where to dispose of used materials. Some things have to be put in special waste containers because they can't go in the trash or down the sink. Now for a few rules that may be obvious. No children are permitted in the laboratory. Do not put things into the electrical outlets other than electrical plugs. And don't create a tripping hazard by leaving coats or backpacks in the aisles between seats. Oh, I also want to warn you that we may use solutions in lab that will damage or stain your clothes. Please try to wear clothing that you don't mind throwing out if it gets ruined. Two of the most important safety rules are that you must wear closed-toed shoes to be allowed into the lab, and you may never eat or drink any kind of food or liquid in the lab. These rules apply every time you enter the lab. Closed-toed shoes are any kind of shoes that don't leave the front of your foot exposed. This is so important that if you show up to lab with sandals or flip-flops on, we'll send you home to get safe shoes and you'll miss part of the lab. It's a great idea to keep a backup pair of tennis shoes in your car if you drive, or carry them in a bag if you don't. Since it's so easy to make life-threatening mistakes in the lab, we never eat or drink while in the room. Food and drinks may never be on the lab bench. They must be inside your backpack or left on the specified table at the front of the room. You just need to step outside to take a drink, and then you can come right back to class. Don't forget your bottles when you leave. Anytime we're doing an exercise that involves a risk that liquid could splash into your eyes, or when heating glassware because it could shatter, you must wear safety goggles. They'll be out on the table for you when you come in. We sterilize our goggles in a UV cabinet every week. Gloves are always available in the lab. Make sure to wear them during lab exercises that involve materials that could irritate your skin and discard them in the regular trash when you're done. In a laboratory, you'll find several items of safety equipment. We don't need them often, but it's important to know where they are in case you ever do. Your lab instructor will point out where these items are in your lab. The MSDS binder, fire extinguisher, eye wash, biohazard trash bin, glass trash bin, sharps container, and first aid kit. The MSDS binder contains safety and hazard information for any chemical solutions or powders that we use in the lab. A fire extinguisher is used only when a fire is small, and the nozzle should be pointed at the base of the fire where the burning material is. The eye wash is for washing any foreign matter out of your eyes, whether it's a liquid solution or solid particles. Pull the eye wash toward the front of the sink and lower your face so that it sprays into your eyes. There's also a full body shower in the hallway in case of a fire or a large spill on your body or clothing. The biohazard bin is for disposing of dissected specimens and their parts. The step at the base of the bin means that you don't have to use your hands to open it. Be careful not to allow any dissection tools or pins to fall in. Remove tools and pins from the pan before taking it to the bio bin. At times, you'll have a small biohazard bag on your table. These bags are only meant for the toothpicks and taste papers that are contaminated with saliva or our simulated blood. Do not put paper towels or gloves into these small bags or they'll fill up too quickly. The glass trash bin is meant to prevent staff and collections workers from being injured by our broken glassware. Do not put paper towels or gloves into the glass trash. It is only for glass. If you sweep up tiny glass shards with a paper towel, carefully shake the paper towel inside the glass trash bin and then throw it into the regular trash. 
Any fragments that remain on the paper towel are most likely too small to be dangerous. To help prevent needing to use the glass trash bin, be careful when heating glassware. Never set hot glass on a wet surface and heat glassware slowly. The Sharps container, like the glass trash, is for a very specific type of trash, used or broken scalpel blades or razor blades. Do not put the cardboard wrapper from the razor blades or the foil-like package that the scalpel blades come in into the Sharps container. They're not sharp, right? Handle both scalpel and razor blades very carefully. They're meant to be sharp enough to easily cut through skin and muscle. They'll also cut through our skin and muscle. The first aid kit contains band-aids, antibiotic ointment, and alcohol swabs for cleaning cuts and covering burns. When you come into lab with an open wound, cover it before you start working. Report all accidents to your lab instructor right away and do not try to clean blood contaminated spills or spills of any hazardous materials. Always close chemical containers after using them to prevent spills and close specimen containers carefully to keep them from drying out. Wash skin that's come in contact with lab solutions thoroughly. During each lab class, Take care to pay attention to signs and labels that you find with the laboratory materials. They'll help you to understand what you're meant to do and to remember these safety rules in the moment. In wrapping up, if you're ever in the lab and you see a situation that looks dangerous, please tell your lab instructor or a lab assistant right away. Have a safe semester.